Hi guys, I uh, recently made a tool post grinder from a pencil die grinder. I set out to make a cast holder for this and uh, while making the wooden pattern I decided to look online or on YouTube to see if there was any other holders out there for these and uh, I came across Zynadu's site and he has or made this tool post holder um, bracket very simple. It's just a piece of flat stock milled out and put a uh, slit in here and tap a hole and put in your set screw and away you go. My uh, design I had made was to cast a, a holder for this but uh, this was much much simpler and uh, why reinvent the wheel if you don't have to? I just used it to make 22 of these cutoff um, bits for uh, a special uh, project for somebody, and it worked really well just with a cutoff disc. And now I got a little bit of damage on this uh, end mill holder just past the screw here. There's a bit of a burr, so I'm just going to come in with a small mounted wheel and see uh, see how well that works. Oh, well, here we go. Well, that works really well. Uh, it was kind of hard to fit in before, and uh, would get stuck in there. You had to use pliers. Now it's. Uh, really good. Now it took me about, I don't know, 20 minutes to make that. I did miss on the hole, uh, eyeballing it. I made uh, the hole a little too close to the front of the unit. So I'll probably make another one, but uh, it's been very handy so far. Uh, it's already paid for itself in the small jobs I've done it with, or used it with. and. Uh, I really like it. Now, whether it'll last uh, very long, I don't know. A uh, Dremel model might be better, or something with a bigger uh, grinder, but uh, so far so good. So that's it for tonight, guys, and until next time, don't play safe.